For making a 3D image, you usually need two pictures taken from a slightly different angle. In this case, we will use a single 2D image and use a gray depth map to create the 3D effect. For this shoot, I used a long lens to get images that have enough foreground and a clear background area that will help to make the subject jump out at the end. Of course, you can also experiment with wider lenses. Check out how the 3D effect changes. Back in the office, I download all the images from my flashcard and select the ones that fit best for a 3D conversion. In this process, we are using a gray depth map, which defines the 3D layout of the picture. In general, light values come forward and darker values drop back. Therefore, the channels offer you a good starting point for your grayscale depth map. Browse through the channels and select the one where you have a great contrast and a different set of shades between background and foreground. Use the quick selection tool to select all areas that will end up coming forward. Invert the selection and fill it with black. Now you can use the brush to do a little bit fine tuning and work on the edges and some details in the picture. The more detailed you work, the better the end result will be. Next, you want to make sure that you have no true blacks or whites in the picture. Therefore you use the levels to flatten the image out. You also want to get rid of all the details to make this gray depth map work and therefore add a Gaussian blur to the image. Here I'm using a radius of about 20 pixels in this high resolution file. Now the gray depth map is pretty much set and all the shades seem to be nicely set for a 3D conversion. Therefore, copy the layer now and paste it in our original layer panel. There is a feature in the 3D menu of Photoshop CS5. Click on New Mesh from Grayscale and then on Plane. Now you have a 3D mesh of your Grayscale image. To get back to a more natural look and colors, you simply need to replace the diffuse image that is linked to the layer now. For this reason copy the background, double click on the diffuse image paste it on a new layer and merge down. When you are closing the diffuse image, press save and you will see that the original image appeals different. Next double click on the 3D icon to get to the 3D settings. Click edit render settings to open the render setting window. First select unlit texture to turn off all the lights that have been appended to the picture. Finally, turn on the red and blue settings and edit the parallax. Depending on the amount you enter, you will get different results. In this case, we use a value of 100 to get a very strong effect. Press OK and check the image with your 3D glasses. 